Hello everyone, Jennifer here. I am feeling good, so I'm doing another video right now, just after I recorded last week's video. Today I'd like to discuss some skincare updates that I wanted to talk about with you. And just um, before we get into it, I have had some skin issues lately, and I think I know the culprit. The culprit is stress. <laughs> I'm working on the second book, I'm watching two young kids, and you know, the work and the responsibilities are piling up and I think it's been taking a toll on my skin. And you know what, I'm just taking that as a sign that my body is telling me that I need to just relax, stop trying to do so much, which is what I'm doing. So I just wanted to like say that because, you know, we all go through phases where our skin looks really amazing and then we go through phases where not so much. And recently, I'm getting out of it right now because I'm, I'm starting to pay attention more um, to what I need. But um, yeah, my skin is, has been going through a rough period lately. One thing I am doing every morning when I wake up, and you know this if you've read Lessons from Madame Chic, but I am having a tall glass of warm water with lemon. And I think the lemon helped to detoxify some of the impurities in your system, and that has definitely helped my skin get back on track. The other thing I wanted to talk to you about was using an oil in your skincare routine. And if you would have told me even four months ago that I would have used an oil in my skincare routine, I would have laughed in your face. <laughs> Just because I, I always consider oil to be pore clogging and the cause of all breakouts and everything. Um, but my esthetician at Petite Spa, I see Juliana now, um, she told me that oil is actually really beneficial for your skin and she recommended that I massage oil into my face at least once a week, maybe twice a week. Um, and she recommended a calendula oil. And you know how much I love calendula. Calendula is such a healing herb. And this one is by Eminence. I've been using this once or twice a week in the way that she has recommended, and it, I've seen such major improvement in my skin. And what you do is, um, it's like a little eyedropper. Can you see that? Yeah. It's like a little dropper. Um, and basically, after I've cleansed my skin, and if I've exfoliated, I do that, and I drop a little of this into my hands and I massage it into my skin. I just massage it, massage it, massage it. And then I get a warm, clean washcloth that's wet and I gently wipe off the excess oil. Right after that, I put on my moisturizer. Now on the directions on this bottle, it actually says um, you can either apply a thin layer over the entire face or apply to affected areas one to three times a day or you can even mix one to three drops in your hand with your favorite moisturizer and apply. So you can leave this on your skin, that's absolutely fine too. And it's just amazing. Now you don't have to use this brand, this just happens to be what I'm using and I love it. Um, but also, she told me that you can use even coconut oil, sweet almond oil, and olive oil, all which can be found at the drugstore or a local health food store. Just make sure it's a high quality grade and try to use organic um, if possible. I can just tell you that this has really changed my skin and I love it. So it's a new skincare tip that I'm really excited about and I never would have thought of this before. So thank you Juliana at Petite Spa for introducing me to this. The second thing I wanted to talk to you about is makeup removal. And we always talk about cleansing the skin, but before we cleanse the skin, we have to remove our makeup. So I usually first get a cotton pad and I remove my eye makeup with an uh, eye makeup remover. And this one is Lancome's by Facile. And I'm not totally married to any of these that I'm showing you. This just happens to be what I currently have right now. <laughs> I've also used some of the makeup remover pads from the drugstore and I find that those work really well too. I think I had a coupon or something and that's why I ended up purchasing this one. And I really like this one. This one's really nice actually. Um, 
so I'll remove the eye makeup and then I got these just at my local drugstore these are L'Oreal Ideal Clean makeup removing towelettes and they are for all different skin types so basically you just get one of these and wipe it across your face and it removes the makeup um, you know L'Oreal has these, Neutrogena has these, all different types of brands have these and they're really inexpensive you can get them at the drugstore and um, I find that it really works effectively to get my makeup off so I just wanted to say that a lot of people have asked me when I use the Clairsonic do I remove my makeup first and the answer is yes you should I didn't always especially in the beginning because I didn't know I didn't really think about it but um, Juliana told me that you should remove your makeup before, otherwise you are embedding the makeup into your skin even further, which completely horrified me. So I <laughs> do use these before I use that. Which brings me to the last thing I want to discuss with you. Um, speaking of the Clairsonic, a lot of people have said they would love to try it, but they can't afford it. So I actually called in a Spa Sonic you see that? And this sells at Target for around $60. So that's just a little over a third of the price of the Clairsonic. And I wanted to try it because I wanted to see what um, a less expensive brand could do. I tried it for the first time last night and I really like it. It's kind of a cool product. It has face um, scrubs, body scrubs, and even a pumice stone. I will do a more comprehensive review later, but I just wanted to say that I'm thinking of you. I know that everyone doesn't have the same budget, so I'm trying to find things to review at different price points so you can pick the appropriate product for you. I contacted Oil of Olay to see if I could review theirs, and they declined, so I won't be reviewing theirs. Um, but let me know if you try theirs and you like it. All right. I didn't take that personally, by the way. <laughs> Okay, so that's it for skincare. I would love to know, what are your skincare tips recently? Do you have anything to share with us? Let us know in the comments section below. Thank you for joining me on The Daily Connoisseur. I'll see you soon.